you, Sam. Thank you. Thanks so, Sam and I, so when I met Michael like 20 years ago, 18 years ago, something like that. And when he worked, he used to work in Ocala. Uh, and I'd go up there. It was probably like 15 years ago, something like that. And so Sam's married to Michael, and I've no one watching you paint on, you know, online for many years. And so I saw you at, yeah. um, at uh, where were we? Santa Amelia. Amelia Island, yeah. yeah. And I said, hey, can we paint this car? And he said, sure, let's do it. <laughs> and, uh, and so then I came up with the idea is, why don't we paint all my cars over time? So I saw it at my house first. I'm cheating here a little bit. We're going to go in here and I'm going to have Mike mount it. Uh, he's going to roll out the wall, repaint the wall and stuff. But we're going to put it on the wall and show you what it looks like. I kind of want to see what it looks like so I can catch the vision of if we have 10 or 12 cars throughout the yarn building, what would that look like? So these are in Tampa locally. So this yeah. guy is in Sarasota, but okay. he's wonderful. I love him to death. Yeah. And then this one is on matte paper. He likes the Ooh, matte yeah. because it looks more like the painting. Yeah. I like glossy, but that's just because I I'm think really we could shiny we, stuff we could probably like offer both. Sure. I like I like this framing. Yeah, me too. It makes it easier to frame in matte too. So when yeah. you get it to people, they can just slap a matte over yep. it. Yeah. And whenever I sign in number stuff, I always put the title, the edition number, and I sign at the bottom as well. So yeah. you can do that if you want. Yeah, how, um, do we, how do we want to do that? Do we want to offer like 50 signed or something? What do you think? Cool. Yeah. I, I like both, yeah. On I told I yeah, do we'll do both and then we'll offer people. So we'll do the three. Okay. And then good. I think we can do this for every car. That would be great. Yeah. Trust me, we love that. Come here, bro. He's not heavy enough. He loves, uh... He likes testing everything out. Where's your collar, bro? Would you like to do the arm, Nah, you can do it. I'm kind of, uh, jaded and cool stuff, yeah. you know, so don't get too offended if I don't get too excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see. That's the perfect size. Awesome. And so, because it's UV, if there is ever sunlight on it, it won't. So, I recommend not keeping it in. I okay. have some paintings that get a couple hours of sun a day, but I yeah. recommend not leaving them directly in sunlight. Should we mess with Michelle and go put it in the, um, in the painting spot, hang it on the wall? <laughs> no, no, it's going at eight. Oh, gee. Love it. <laughs> Yeah. I'm so glad you do. The, the uh, trees were definitely a learning opportunity for me, so I appreciate yeah. that. But it was a It's lot perfect. Of fun. I really enjoyed working on it. Yeah, and then people will be able to order their own little version of it. Oh, yeah. It'd be great. For one one hundredth of what that costs. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is this turned out way better than I thought. Yeah. For yeah, sure. yeah. And well, so they get it. They, people can get a real experience of what a, the painting is like and what the car is like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just saw it too. It's perfect. The car looks great. Yeah. So we'll pick um, if we don't have an E36 shot, we'll pick an E36 and we might as well start it because sure. I want to do all of them. Yeah, definitely. I'm do one at a time and you know do you know four or five a year and in 40 years we'll have them all done. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, the prints I'm really pumped about. Yeah, I'm pumped about the painting for me, but not everybody can buy that painting. And so, um, and so we do some. We you've done some some printing uh, both in gloss and matte. If, you, if people would want to just get like just the photo yeah, paper, like and frame it, or a actual canvas, and mm -hmm. actually turned out great. Uh, so let's go in and uh, take a look at it. I want you to teach, show people, like talk about the process totally. and how how you do something like can this. You? So let's look at it. All right, so I ask you to do a giant one. Yes. So this is a, what's the size? This is a 36 by 48. Okay. Oil on canvas. Yep. And it took me over 200 hours of physical hands-on painting time to produce. Well, do you draw it first? Yes. And uh, then, so you draw it free, like what, with pencil or yeah. whatever, like a little crayon, or what do you, yeah. what's that little thing that you saw you use? So I use, I start off with doing a pencil drawing on the canvas, mm -hmm. and I'll go and I'll seal that in with a product so that the drawing doesn't smear. Oh, okay. And yeah. then I'll go in, I'll paint the background first. I usually do two to three layers of paint on each piece that I do. So I'll do the background, and this one was actually, I learned a ton on this piece and the mm -hmm. trees in the background. So that's part of the thing that I love so much about painting is it's 
always a learning experience. Mm. So I'll do the background and once that's complete or close to complete, I'll start putting in the first layer on the car. So I started with the left side and I usually work my way over from left to right. So, so you're not dragging yes, your hands. Yes, exactly. Or... Yeah, oil paint usually takes a few days to dry depending on, you know, there's a lot of things that come into play with it. Humidity and um, if you've used a medium or not to slow or speed up the drying process. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it usually takes about a few weeks to cure with how I paint. Some oil paintings take up to a year before they varnish it, but after it's completely dry, I put a uh, clear varnish on it. That way the painting's protected and mm -hmm. go get it photographed and go from there. So how much pressure, like, so you do all the 100 hours into this and mm -hmm. then do you start to get nervous as you're <laughs> Honestly, yeah. like the, if you screw up. Yeah, partially, I think everything in terms of layers. So there's another author named Lisa Congdon, and she's also an artist who has a representation of what the art process is like. It's like the shape of a U. Mm -hmm. So when you're starting a painting, it's like woohoo, we're getting going and starting. And then as you go down, you go into the pit of despair where it's in its puberty phase, if mm -hmm. you will. And where then you're like, as, I'm never gonna get this done. Yes, exactly. Me. And then you come back up and you say, oh no, this actually isn't so bad. We're getting there. We're yeah, getting there. Yeah. But that's another reason why I break it up into doing sections with it. So I'll get the background done first to keep myself motivated and be like all right cool the background's done mm -hmm. let's keep cruising into the car itself honestly the background was harder and took more time than the car did the background took me maybe four to five weeks and the car took me three mm. you talked me into a crazy background though that wasn't my fault listen yeah. that's okay i'm into <laughs> it i think it came out great it's that's, awesome yeah. i really a lot of my work has that composition of soft focus background and super sharp focus in the foreground but this one's a little different because the very bottom is also slightly soft focus so you have a very specific field of view right in the middle of the piece mm -hmm. but so i had a photo and then you're pulling this yes. concept off of the photo so yes. did you have like the photo like sitting you yeah. know, like where you can mm -hmm. look at look at it yeah so then what do i need to do like for, this is my first piece of like real sure. art. Like, what do I do to care for this? Do I have to do anything? Just you basically, it? what I recommend is keeping it out of the sun mm -hmm. because the Florida sun is super intense. It's yep. not very good for oil paint. Um, if it gets a couple hours of sun, it's not gonna kill it. But being in direct sunlight 24 seven is not good for it. Mm. So keeping it out of the sun and all you need to do is really just dust it off every so often, but it's good to go. So I've used the giveaway as justification to pay for this thing. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so that, um, that the way that I'm gonna fund these cars, these paintings, and what I wanna do is have, eventually have her do you know, all the cars so we can kind of like, we won't be in this building forever, um, but to have, you know, the art, have some artwork of the cars in this building. And so we'll fill kind of the walls here and make it look, make it look good. The next car we're gonna do this is the E36, but the way I'm gonna fund this is by, on the giveaways, by doing you know, prints of these. And so what we've decided to do is we're going to do um, the more economical version, which would be to do a, what do we call these? So it's a paper print or a gicle, if you want the fancy French word for okay, it. Okay, so paper print versus canvas print. Correct. And so I think what we're going to do on the paper prints is we're going to have her sign and number 25 of each. And so we have a, this is a matte version, no, this is the gloss version and this is the matte version. Mm -hmm. So you can choose, I like the matte version. The matte version looks more like a painting, but these Agreed. are frameable. These, we'll, uh, we'll put the pricing up on, on the site. So we're going to do 25 of each or she'll sign and number. Uh, and then we're also going to offer a, what's that size? That's so a 16 by 20. So 16, I'm really pumped at how that turned yeah, out. That looks too. fantastic. I'm super excited about it. I think they came out great. And so the way we're going to do it is I'm going to put it up in the store. These will all count toward the giveaway. So every right. five bucks you spend or every dollar you spend gets you an entry. And so we'll, we'll have the pricing up on the site once we get that all worked out. And then um, we're, we'll, this is on a pre-order basis. So we'll kind of order them in batches yeah, as we go through the next month and a half. Mm -hmm. Uh, the giveaway ends on the 31st, and so we'll we'll see how many of these we print, uh, and then we'll probably um, we'll probably keep these in the store long term. The numbered prints, the numbered you know the, um, paper prints, will be you know we'll only do 50 of those. We'll do 25 of each. Yeah. 
Uh, and then we're going to do this again on my E36, and then maybe the Brewster, and you know we'll see what other cars we get into. My 458 Special, I have started shopping for them. Oh It'll boy. be our next next giveaway, maybe. That sounds great. Oh yeah. my gosh. What color are you doing it though? I don't know. I, I mean, red is the red desired is one, red but is I kind of want to get something a little different. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do that car. A red one is six, six to seven hundred k. Mm -hmm. A um, a gray, you know, or black, or some other colors in the high fives. That's yeah. a lot. Of, a lot of that's a big risk. Fly, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I was going to say, fly yellow was Ferrari's original color. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite color, but you know, I'm slightly biased. Yeah, I'm not a Ferrari <laughs> guy, but. That is the one car. So oh, yeah. Mike's going to mount this on the wall here. And then we're actually going to roll this wall out with fresh paint. We've tried touching it up, but whatever. It was two different colors. And so the concept would be we'll have, you know, we'll do one, two, three, four. You know, we'll do over and above the, um, the design area and kind of, you know, make this place look great. Yeah. And we got room over here so we can do five, six, seven. Yeah, it could be really cool. I think it'll be great. I think yeah. it'll be a nice memento too. Keep so you busy, yeah. Oh yeah. So it's a lot of, I do a lot of work for people that have private collections like you have here. Yeah. And I do some work for museums like the Brumos Museum and working on doing something with the Revs Institute down in Naples too. So how does someone contact you on Instagram? Is that DM you or yeah. on your website? Yeah, so you can either shoot me a DM on Instagram or my website's there. You can send me an email there yeah. and all my information. We'll put the link in the description and the cards above. Yeah. And, um, and then go to obsessedgarage.com if you want to get one of these prints. Uh, but if you wanted to commission her, um, just think about you know hours. She'll then quote you depending on how big and what you want to do, how, complex and it is, how many yeah. hours and how complex, how much you think it is, yeah. you know, how much time she, she thinks it'll take. Yeah. Um, and then you'll have a numbered or signed, authenticated. So she, she made me my certificate of authenticity here. So I'll keep this some in my in my files, yeah. and so then that will go with the painting. I might even mount it to the back. Yeah, the you painting. could. You so could. I might mount it to yeah. the back of it there. Mike's going to mount this thing for me, and then we're going to start on the next one. So I'm going to start searching for my next photo for the, uh, the E36. Super excited for that purple. It's going to be great. Yeah. It was fun. This was super refreshing to do. I've done so many race cars within the last couple of years. It was really mm -hmm. nice to get back to doing something that was road legal, so to speak. But, yeah. uh, I haven't painted anything that was just white or black, and it's funny when you're looking at black or white cars, they're not actually, or gr dark gray in this instance, um, they're not actually that color. They reflect a bunch of the color in the surroundings. Mm. So when you're looking at the color on this, it almost has a little bit of blue in the gray coming from the sky, and yeah. then it has a little bit of warmth that's coming off of the ground that it's sitting on from the bottom. Fascinating. I have no concept for how you create something like this. I said the same thing. Yeah. I don't even know where you start. Yeah. Well, one brush stroke at a time. Bob mm -hmm. Ross was my uh, inspiration for the background. Oh, Happy Ross. little trees yeah. the whole time. Friends, friends <laughs> friendly trees, friendly clouds. Oh, yeah. 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 But hey. it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. I always say chrome is something that I really enjoy painting just because it's so high contrast. And this is almost like painting a piece of colored chrome because it's polished so beautifully. Mm. Yeah, it's an interesting experience to commission someone to, to paint, you know, something that yeah. you, you know, my car and yeah. um, so I'm kind of figuring out how this works in life. I actually bought some art up in, uh, up in Canada for my house. Oh, that's great. And um, took advantage of the exchange rate. I feel like I'm getting fancy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Next thing I'll be drinking coffee and uh, having wine at night. Wine, you know? mm -hmm. wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, smoking a cigar. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get a smoking jacket while you're at it. You're yeah. going to start seeing me not wearing uh, yellow shoes anymore. I'm going to start wearing, um, like, what's Ed Bullion wear? The, um, like, gator skin uh, or, like, blue velvet uh, yeah. penny loafers. Yeah. Around. Penny loafers, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So these um, we're going to get up in the store. So we're going to do matte version. And we're going to do 25 signed, numbered signed, and then, so I'm going to do a numbered version and then a non-numbered. 
right? And then we'll ask her what, you know, I, I don't know what these cost, so what they cost, so we'll figure out the pricing. Mm -hmm. So I'll have you sit with her and figure out what pricing is. And then we're gonna do the gloss version. Okay. And so it'll all be pre-ordered and they'll, you know, they'll order them and um, um, same thing. So numbered, so one through 25 signed by her, one through 25 signed by her. And then both will be non-numbered available, uh, and then these are just going to be just the regular, you know, canvas. Okay. Which I, I'm super surprised how much this looks like the real darn thing. It looks yeah, pretty it perfect. Yeah, it turned out pretty excellent when you compare yeah. So I want people to be able to get these, and then have you know normal giveaway entry. And so if we can get these up in the store in the next, you know, next couple of days, that'd be sweet. Yeah. So what we'll probably do is just have a variant on the product, and like when the signed ones sell out, that variant's just going to be gone. So you see, yeah. like, if you want a signed like limited one. Pick that variant. Once that's yep. unavailable, sorry. And it'll be like 20 bucks more or something like that. We'll figure out what the pricing is. Yeah. Uh, and then, but they'll have the option to choose the variant of if they don't care about that. You know, yeah, but if you just want a regular one that's not actually numbered, yeah. uh, we're only going to do the 25. So, yeah, so the they're going to be like 525s, okay? So the 50 numbered will be the only 50 signed, and then well, we're going to sell these probably forever. Yeah. But not, not the signed and numbered version. Correct. Yes, yes. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Go to obsessgarage.com. Go to, what is it, Samantha? SamanthaZimmermanArt.com. Go there, check it out, and um, buy these so I can get another painting done. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.